Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and I have an amazing news to share with all of you. The Samsung Galaxy S23 just made an appearance on Geekbench and according to the system information appearing on Geekbench, the S23 will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. You heard that right. The S23 will be the first smartphone to feature Qualcomm's next gen chipset. Now according to the Geekbench 5 score, the single core score appears to be 1524 and the multi core score appears to be 4597. Now this is a very high score for any smartphone that has existed to date. And another thing that you can see at the bottom of this screenshot is the memory which appears to be 8 gigs to 8 gigs RAM and this is probably going to be one of the base variants of the Samsung Galaxy S23. In fact, the motherboard name Kalama also suggests towards the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset and it's quite obvious now that this is definitely going to power the Samsung Galaxy S23. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is significant for a lot of special reasons. It's not just going to be a new iteration with a few improvements here and there. It is actually going to improve things for real. First off, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is going to feature ARM's latest CPU cores, the Cortex-X3. ARM introduced new cores a few days ago including the Cortex-X3, Cortex-A715 and a refreshed Cortex-A510. Cortex-X3 offers 25% higher peak performance while the A715 has 20% better power efficiency. The Cortex-X3 beats the last year's Cortex-X2 CPU which was featured in the Exynos 2200, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and Dimensity 9000 chipsets. Since the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will be based on TSMC's 4 nanometer fabrication process, the Cortex-X3 might not hit its full potential, but we can still expect a boost of 11% in the performance. This also means that a new GPU will be powering up the phones, so we will see a significant graphics enhancement in the upcoming phones that will house the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. It is pertinent to note here that Samsung's Exynos powered flagship devices haven't been doing good and a lot of users want Samsung to opt for the Snapdragon chipsets for all the regions. Samsung did introduce the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 powered S22 Ultra in a number of regions where it used to sell the Exynos powered smartphones prior to the S22 Ultra and I do hope that things will improve further with the Galaxy S23 series. We are still a good 3 months away from the official unveiling of the Galaxy S23 and only time will tell if Samsung are going to launch the Exynos 2300 and then the S23 powered by the Exynos 2300 chipset. For now the variant that has appeared on the Geekbench 5, it seems to be the US variant of the Galaxy S23 so things are a little unclear at this point. Samsung doesn't actually need to kill the Exynos 2300 chipset. They can also go ahead and bring the Exynos 2300 on par with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. All they have to do is to remove the shortcomings of the Exynos chipsets. It's not the Exynos brand that people actually dislike. It is what the Exynos chipsets lack in comparison to their Snapdragon counterparts. The S23 is likely to retain the same design as the S22 lineup which also sometimes gives me the thought of having hit the peak smartphone design but the S22 Ultra is a really good looking smartphone and some users are appreciating Samsung for retaining the same design. The S23 cases and vendors are also leaking these days and leaks and rumors are only going to accelerate since we are getting closer to the phone's launch. I'll try my best to keep you guys posted about the Samsung Galaxy S23 series. Let me know how do you see this news of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 powering up the Galaxy S23. Drop your comments below, hit the like and subscribe button. With that being said, I will sign off and see you all in the next one.